Hi, this is Mike Schilly and I'm going to show you today how to select areas from images with the scissors select tool in the GIMP. For example, I shot this picture of this car with the pink mustache in San Francisco the other day, but I was so excited that I held my thumb into the picture and I'm going to show you how to remove this and replace it by the color of the sky here. First of all, let's zoom in with the plus button here and navigate to that corner that we want to cut out and usually I'd probably use something like the lasso tool in order to select things but it's not easy to get these shapes correctly and I want to have all these subtleties in there so what the GIMP offers for this is the so-called scissors select tool and if you start off with one single dot that first one has to be very precise and um, if you follow up with other points, the GIMP will follow the shapes in the image very closely. So if you keep doing that, and it's not always 100% correct, like you see, it's not capturing the border. You can just add more dots and then move these uh, closer to the edge. Uh, if the GIMP won't let you do that, you can press the shift button and then force it to do that. So let's continue until we've got the whole shape selected and if you click on the last button it will connect all the dots and offer you to uh, make a selection if you press somewhere in the middle here and here we go everything's selected and we can now replace that thump by the color of the sky. As this is not evenly distributed, I'm going to capture another part of the sky here. You can see it's actually a gradient, so it's a little lighter here. And let me just pick the color with the color pick a tool here. And the other part at the top, I'm going to pick the color as well. So you can see there's a slight color difference in between. And I can apply this to the selected surface by using the gradient tool, which is somewhere around here. No, right here. So I'm going to move from the darker side to the lighter side and just drag that and let it go. So if I delete that selection now and zoom out you can see that it actually did a fairly good job making the sky look exactly the same without that ugly thumbprint that I had earlier. That was it. Thanks for listening. See ya.